Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here where I'm hungry, where I'm injured, and I think a little bit poisoned as well. Uh, that's our hunger. We're not poisoned, that's interesting. I died after I got poisoned. Yeah. So I had to punch all these creatures, and actually I gained a bunch of, a bunch of experience, which was pretty good. I think it was like 180 or something. Uh, but it took me forever. It took me, I would say, let's see... I did half, 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 half of it. I did, uh, I did right after I recorded the last episode, and uh, the other half I did this morning. And mostly was just hunting down the freaking three rats that scared, they got scared. Um, but uh, there's, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if they heal after they got scared or something, because one of them was just injured and he was running away from me. And then when I punched him again uh, with great uh, difficulty. He aggroed on me, and, uh, yeah. Actually, it was an interesting thing, because I was running away from this rat, punching him, and he was biting me. You can tell over there that I wasn't, it wasn't going well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's just, it was biting me even then, and, uh, and then I saw that rat, and he was just sort of having a weird glitch where he, because they can run away faster than I can while I punch them. They can kite me better than I can kite them. Um, and, uh, somehow he was glitching out of the, out of the edge, and I was trying that, and he was injured, and, uh, he never attacked me. Or did he? He did. Maybe. I don't know. I'm getting confused. Anyway, it was this morning, and now it's afternoon, and we're going in here. Uh, we're gonna figure things out, because we are going back to the drunken lair. And also going, hopefully, to, um... So we don't have toxins. That's good. This place looks pretty interesting. That's also good. Um, and we're going to, hopefully, the, the that city, because we absolutely need to buy things. Speaking of buying things, and also amazing stuff that we have in here, um, uh, our character definitely wasn't ready to fight those rats. If it, were, if it weren't for the kiting, nothing would be there. Um, but, um, this is not great. Ooh, there's that person over here. This is great. Uh, mm, yeah, sure, whatever. So one round. I have plenty of those, which is good. Um, using them instead of the punching was a consideration that I had, but uh, I, I figured I could kite them a little bit better. Or I uh, could kite them easily enough, and I decided not to not to do that. So, um, oh, this is locked. Uh, so we're going to Otradnoi. No, not Otradnoi. The other city. Ooh, take all. Um, the Krasnos Lameni. That's right. And uh, hopefully we'll buy things because I was looking and just trying not to remember anything or not to memorize anything. I should say uh, at the wiki for this game and the crafting table. Thank you so much uh, for for uh, Nerean for, for giving me the links. Actually, it was somebody else. Uh, I don't know the name. I don't know how to read the name. But thank you very much for the help in the comments. Uh, and I was looking, and oh boy, are we good with crafting? Or are we? Are, is the game good with crafting? Because there are some really interesting weapons that you can craft relatively easily, actually. Uh, and uh, I could experiment, and I think I could memorize some of them. But uh, it's relatively easy to, uh, to craft. Speaking of which need to let's go with that uh, relatively easy to craft stuff uh, and uh, we might do it but before I do that I want I really want to uh, to learn recipes so we're gonna camp here not not that we're gonna sleep here because I don't think we need that let's just roast some meat oh I did learn about one recipe uh, yeah let's cook and uh, everything is good I did learn about one recipe and that recipe is with this thing. So this is definitely metagaming, but I know how to do, what to do with it. Uh, so we pick, yeah, we're gonna make corned meat. All we do is this, right there. So pretty good, and that's good, and I'm using that in particular because the salt is extremely heavy, <laughs> and I really don't wanna carry it around. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just that that's good. So we're in a good position here. Let's keep going to the drunken lair I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be able to you know solve the situation with them without them shooting me or attacking me my uh, my speech uh, it Should be okay. Where's my experience? Yeah, and if we gain a thousand experience from, from doing that Maybe good things will happen, uh, but maybe bad things will happen. Let's enter and uh, go over here into the land of the radishes I think what is that? Petrovich and company. Everything for your drinking needs. And you can you can get the, the Cyrillics there. That's the P, that's an E, but that's one of the E's. Or is that all the E's? Maybe. 
and then the R over there, and the V, the B is, there's another B, that's the B over there, uh, I think, or is that the one that has a little, there's one that has a little thing on top, like, it's this one, but it has another thing, or maybe that's the capital, the capitalized version, and that's a V, and then V, -ch. oh, the H is a, an X, is it? Sure. Anyway, let's go inside and uh, wait a minute. Let's not go inside. Let's tell the person who lost his daughter somewhere. Wasn't he over here? Yes, he was. Uh, that I found his daughter. And hopefully he'll be happy and give me many monies or something. Is this the guy? What did I see? A flowing? Oh, a frowning. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I got news about your daughter. Oh, seriously? Well, well, well. Where did you meet her? What Was it her at all? I... Apparently he's being sarcastic with that even though it doesn't come across as that. I'm serious, she lives at the factory, and I'm gonna describe her to him. She's a very boyish girl. At first, the man is listening to you with distrust, then with animated surprise, and f and finally, with feverish excitement. When you're done, describing her, I must say, he throws his hands in the air and almost screams. Exactly, exactly, you've just described Junia to me, but ha Oh, I can't believe it. How is she, what happened to her? Uh, well, let's see. She doesn't hate you, as I thought. Let's see. She's safe and sound. She's missing you. As it turned out, she and that... Let's not call... Let's call it Bandit, just with all the words without the quotations. Really fell in love. Let's see. While you were looking for her and suffering, she was enjoying her life at the factory and evidently didn't worry much about her old men. Uh, well, that's not that's not true. Let's go with the first one. Uh, and, and yeah, they fell in love with each other and now they live together in the most precarious of situations that I've ever seen in this game. The man looks at you bewildered. Fell in love? I need to be meaner to him. This can't be true, he says. That's how. That's not how I raised her. That's gross. That he doesn't say that that's gross, parse, but that 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 would make sense. You're making it up. Tell me how. Tell me what, now what really happened. Uh, okay. Can I now be mean to you? Let's see. Chill. The bandit turned out to be a decent fellow. He's not. Hey, I'm just. Well, I mean, he's working for the bandits. And deluding himself. Let's see. I'm just passing the information, don't shoot the messenger. Dunya was killed by a gang of s some sc a gang of some scum. I give you my word as an officer that that's what happened with that. I'm not going to go with that. I can't, right? I can't. I can't go with this. Uh, let's go with uh, this one. The man stomps his foot angrily as if getting ready to start arguing, but instead he only waves his hand dismissively. How can it be? I've been looking for her, thinking that my Dunya is either dead or enslaved while she's been... No, you didn't say that. And she's been living peacefully at the factory all this time? I mean, it's it's good that she's been living peacefully, but, but why run away like that? Well, because you make this? Say stuff like this? Without a proper goodbye or even leaving a note? Like disappearing off the face of the earth? Yeah, that's why I thought that maybe she hated you. He sadly purses his lips and starts rubbing his eyes, so he pouts. He's pouting. He's pouting. And uh, rubs his eyes that have gone red. In in the tone of the man's voice, you begin to hear unusual notes of complaint. Even though all he's been doing so far is complaining. At least she could come to see her old man. I'm not I'm not allowed to visit them at the factory. Well, you're allowed to. You just get shot. That's different. It's, this is not school. Anyway, well, now that she knows where you are, and she might she might come see you. By the way, what are you doing? Uh, going to give me for this news? Because I really need. You're right. It gives me hope, despite all the upset that you were just having. Listen, I'm not a rich man, but I, but this is all I have. One moment. He's gonna give me all he's all he has. This is great. The man takes a sack off his back, and after rummaging in it, he procures 30 rubles in crumpled greasy notes, two tin cans, and a plastic bag with crumbly, crumbly crackers, dry like the Karakum Desert, which I would love to know what it is, but I don't. Here you are, he says. All this will definitely come in handy to a traveler. And now I need some time to think, he says. Maybe I'll try to find this place. Or maybe she'll come herself. I don't know if she will. I don't know. And I'll tell her not to. Because you 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 pout and you stomp your foot. That's not becoming of a person. Uh, let's see. So I have... What did I want to look at my inventory for? The biscuit. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's the crackers that he gave me. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. About oh yeah, but I was I was thinking of the experience. Oh look at that! We have exactly forty two hundred and fifty. This is good. Let's see if I can bring you guys into. Well, actually, this might all come come. Uh, this might all work out in the end. Because what I'm doing here is I am uh, trying to convince these guys to come into the uh, into the wing of the bandits. And as we 
a certain before, I'm doing it with complete carte blanche because the, the leader of Ultra Noi just said, work for them. And don't bother about anything else. I do need to go back there. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should go back there before I do this. Nah. So, I have an important question to ask you. Without putting the bottle down, the man folds his arms across his chest and looks at you expectantly with his only eye. What question is that? Um, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. I am. The man tilts his head a bit and impatiently scuffs his shoe on the wooden floor. Is that right? I've lived long enough to know that such claims lead to... What such claims lead to? Tell me straight up. What are you getting at? I'm trying to say that the factory guys that are offering you protection for a certain price. Oh, I should have guessed it. We are the only people around here who are not yet paying tribute to Dan and his cutthroats. Sooner or later, he was bound to send someone to speak to us. Tell this self-proclaimed baron that my answer remains the same. Oh, those lines contradict each other. So, in the first line, you're saying that nobody has yet been sent to speak to you. And then on the other line, you say that it is the same answer. A resounding no. I will be the one to judge if it's a resounding no or not. We can protect ourselves, both from the bandits and from your gang. Yeah, I've seen your fighters. They're terrified of their own shadows and have no idea what side of the rifle to hold on to. Hmm, well, the men are by all means beat out of shape, but if it comes to a fight, they won't back down. I can guarantee this to you and your boss, so let me repeat this to you. We don't need your protection. Yeah. Listen, that's enough empty talk. I don't think you're in a position to be arguing. The old man knits his brows together angrily and moves away for, from you a bit. I'm not... I'm just waiting for a speech check, but I can't. I'm not in the mood for ar... Maybe, maybe these are what they are. Not in the mood for arguing. If you're trying to create a conflict, then look for some other victim. Or even better, go do some sports. You know? Like the other guy that now likes... Uh, American football a lot. That's the proper. This is all. This will also read you of excessive aggressiveness. Uh, well, with American, yeah, it's the, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I have a better idea. Even though I'm gonna have to stoop myself to saying such a blasphemy over there as that. What if I smash everything to smithereens? All your glassware, the steel, and even the furniture. How is that not a strength check? Why? Um, why are these strength checks? I mean, I guess it makes sense, because he will appraise my strength, and he's going to be like, Ah, you're you're not warning me at all, but let's go with the first one. The one-eyed old man folds his arm across his chest and looks at you skeptically. You wouldn't dare. Everything in here costs a lot of money. You wouldn't bring yourself to do it. Well, it's not my money, is it? So it doesn't really cost anything. Um... Let's try to have peace. Fine, let's try to have peaceful negotiations. Let's see what I can. Oh, there it is! How can it be peaceful? I keep telling you that we need no protection. I see that you disagree with it, or perhaps that you're too zealous about your work. In any case, this is pointless. He's really making no effort to convince me not to, not to, uh, you know, he could, he could try to convince me to not to, to do this, but he's not doing that. I'm sure you yourself have been thinking about extra protection. Oh, dang it. You're wrong. The only person who's been thinking about it is your boss, then. I'm happy with the way things are. Uh, so that's how this conversation is going to go. You know, I can easily start thrashing the place. That's right, even your beloved moonshine still. And he goes back to that, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. So I'm not gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna do things. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die, of course. Because that, I didn't... That was the easiest... Oh my god, this guy's the best fighter ever and everybody else is gonna kill me don't worry I'm just trying to reload I can't do that from the from the, um, the from that screen so let's bring our speech craft oh my god that's a I have 80 speech and I still oh he's here and I still don't man didn't manage to convince him that's good stuff that's a good check right there so I have an important question uh, offer you can't refuse I'm trying to say things I've seen your quote-unquote fighters um, you know, you're not in a position to be arguing, then I can ask that. 
uh, peaceful, and then I can check that, and there it is. The one-eyed old man nods reluctantly, and that was reluctant. All right, what's true is true. Sure. I don't want our camp to repeat the fate of those poor souls who happen to be in the way of some complete degenerates in the wasteland. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even though you're insulting my group, I suppose, but that's fine, because I'm working for them, so that's my group. Anyway, that's that's what the factory guys will be protecting you from. He's, he's talking about you, you idiot. Yeah, all right, he says. No point denying it. We really could use some additional protection, even if it has to be at a cost of a part of our profit. Okay, tell them that I've agreed. Largely thanks to your diplomatic way. Thank you. I know what skills I had to use. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I didn't get any experience from that. But I'm definitely going back to Dan. And after that, we're going back to Adranoi again, even though we do need to... Uh, travel a lot, but we'll see how things go with that. Uh, from here. Yeah. Back to Dan. Ooh, we met some caravaneers. I'll have a chat with them. Hello. Have bricks. I can sell you bricks, even though they're needed for some things. I saw how to make a shiv. I don't expect to need it. Uh, hello, stranger! Mm-hmm, okay, so let's, let's see what you have. You have gunpowder, which is actually pretty good. You have a Siggy, which I am not sure about anything about. about. Uh, we have some antidotes, and I will probably go with the gunpowder. Uh, I think I'm gonna need scrap as well to make uh, the, the rounds. I'm not really sure. So, the zip, do I make zip gun rounds? I need to look at my crafting. But anyway, we're gonna buy the gunpowder. Uh, let's see what we can do with that. So we have a rusty knife. We have a brick. That's not that's not enough to pay for, for the gunpowder. I do have the golden walnut over there. The golden walnut. Uh, and corn meat is actually pretty expensive, so I like that. Uh, I need giant spider legs, not wasp legs. I can sell you this. Uh, toilet paper, absolutely I can. It's not needed for anything. Corn to meat doesn't work in combat. <laughs> the meat doesn't work in combat. Uh-huh. Uh, we got reward vodka. That could pay, maybe. It's not. Okay. That's a shame. I also have diesel, which is pretty heavy, so I'll sell one. See how much... Yeah, that's good enough. Two diesels. Two diesels, and I can get... Uh, let's see. So that's the 69, which is nice, and uh, I can take away these two and that. And I can trade. Thank you very much. And, uh, that was good. Oh, wait a minute. That was extremely good. I am surprised. Did we find one of these already? One of these locations where there's, uh... There's a trader, and then there's... I think we did. And then there's people in here. Oh, yeah. A lantern battery. Why? Well, uh, sure, I think that might be a reference to something, like, it said Planeta 1. Uh, I, I should learn how to count in, in Russian. Um, but, uh, so I could say that in Russian. Um, it said Planeta 1 might be... Might be, like, a reference to something. It's not like Duracell or something, but I don't know. Anyway, let's just get out of here. And I don't know also why it's a lantern battery. Maybe that's part of the story. So why can it only be used in lanterns? Or maybe that's just part of the game, because we will have a lantern later, and which can be used, or can have batteries. But that was pretty good. And, uh, get, yeah, that was absolutely pretty good. The Manon Factory, we go. Fastest travel ever. Very good, very good things. Very good things. The editing on YouTube and stuff like that. So it's night time, and uh, it is... Time for me. How do I get? Where is the? It's through here. Oh yeah, it is. Of course. I thought I was. I was thinking it was through, uh, to the other side. Have we been there? Is this where they had? Oh yeah, we have. There's the car. Sure. Uh, home. That's the one. Okay. So, let's have a chat with their leader, and see what he has to say about this. In front of you is Dan. Ah, Boris. What's brought you here? I've come to report. Go on, then. Um, the Moonshiners will pay up. They agree to all the terms of the contract. The mobster shrugs without showing much emotion. Good for them. 
I fully understand and support their decision. Well, what's there to do? Some business proposals are too good to pass on. Or too dangerous. However, the largely depend uh, that largely depends on how you present them. Which means you, as a messenger, play a big role in this. Kudos. You feel that despite being stingy with emotions... I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay that he keeps his emotions to himself. The mob leader's voice shows genuine enthusiasm. Uh, a lot of experience over there as well. Uh, I'm gonna nod silently. He quickly writes something down in his notebook and finally acknowledges your existence, despite having been talking to me for a while. In short, you've completed the assignment, and you did well. I appreciate that. To start, here's your cut. The leader takes out a bundle of bills from his bosom and, and hands it to you. Here's some 700 rubles. It's very good money. Denis Denisovich Dan, as some people call you. You know, this wasn't an easy assignment. I had to spend all my diplomatic points. Maybe you raise it, is it, raise it in order? Dan smirks and nods. Well, now I know how you got them to cooperate. Good on you for knowing how to smooth talk anybody into anything. Fine. This talent should be recognized. Here, extra 50 rubles. But not a single kopeck more. Uh, which I assume is like a cent. Sure. Well, that's much better. 50. That's not much better, but that's fine. You take 750 rubles after, and, and the extra 50, so you take 800. And after quickly counting them, you nod to the factory boss. Or was it... Did he not give me 700? Did he, did he give me 700? Here's your cut. 700. Oh, no, no. 750. I... I I thought he gave me 750 the first time around. By the moment you've finished your sentence, the mob leader is going through his notebook, obviously looking for something he's written down in the past. Also, should I have counted the money in front of him? That sounds very disrespectful. That like that's that doesn't sound right. He's I I, I, I feel bad when I do that in the bank. And and it's my it's my right as a customer, and I feel bad when I do that. Let alone against a mob boss, he would just shoot me in this in, in place. Or maybe not. He's not even uh, listening to you anymore, even though I'm not saying anything. Finally, he nods to you and hides his notebook back in his bosom. Oh, well. Finally, it's in the past. At least for now. At the moment, I have a different assignment for you. I think you'll be happy to know that unlike your previous task with this assignment, is foolproof. Even a dog could do it. Which sounds bad, considering I'm not a dog. But with something at least partially resembling a human, it should take that much less time. In, a sh in just a few words, you need to scout out a certain place that everybody is taking, uh, is talking about lately, but nobody has any useful information about it. I'm talking about the so-called Roaring Forest, also known as the Rattling Forest or the Rumbling Forest, and other words that are synonym to the, the same word. But anyway, it has a lot more of such names. Give me your map and I'll mark it for you. But it's all legwork after that. Well, which is fine, because I do cuts. When you get there, look around. Take a stroll in the neighborhood. Talk to the locals, should there be any. Find out why the Roaring Forest roars, and that's it. Do you understand? It strains underneath. It strains underneath. Uh, then takes your map. I know. So what are the most widespread theories as to why it's roaring? An underground railway, a secret bunker of the Communist Party, mutants, magic, you name it. I'm inclined to believe that those are just the fluctuations of the Earth's surface due to these things, I suppose? But I cannot be completely certain. Why are you so interested in that forest? If the rumors are true, and there is a secret bunker or a laboratory or an underground railway, I want to get that place under my total control. It's simple, really. Well, sure, uh, it's time to start working on the assignment then. Let's see, I think this would be a, a good uh, a good opportunity for me to actually tell the leaders. I wonder if there's a, an exit somewhere else. Oh, there is, okay. Actually tell the leaders of Atranoi about this particular assignment um, rather than the other one. The other one is sort of none of their business. Because it's like, well, it, it, it can be, I, I suppose, but it's just, it. at least I could figure out in my head a, a justification to, to not tell them about uh, the expansion of the control that these guys hold. Uh, but, uh, let's go back to Adranoi. But for this one, it might be a little bit different. But it's not different is the things that happen on the way there. I'm going to try to talk my way out of it, and I leveled up. This is fantastic. Continue my adventure, absolutely. So, I, I think it's different here, 
uh, or it might be different here in particular, because we heard of this place here in Otranoi. Let's actually look at our level ups. That's 19. That's pretty good. I'm getting 17. That's right. Uh, I'm already at 100 speechcraft, which is pretty good as well. Uh, and uh, I will probably spend it all on pistols and SMG. We can't do anything here, though, because it costs four. Uh, but we already are at um, Fast Hand, so that's pretty good. Fast Hand? Such a weird name. Uh, so that's pretty good. And hopefully they'll have recipes. I don't know if they restock their stuff. Uh, but uh, also, where is my health? My health, does it show over here? Does it show over here? How do I tell my maximum health? Let's go to the doctor anyway. Uh, so, yeah, well, I'm gonna go talk to the head because he's the one that gave me uh, orders to... Uh... There it is. I'm better now. Seven points, so my maximum is 42. Good stuff. Uh, so he's the, he's the one that gave me orders to uh, to work for the, for the bandits. So maybe I can report on the mission well done and all this sort of stuff. Uh, I have something to tell you about the bandits. No, I don't, actually. That's a shame. That's the real shame. What the heck? There's this thing. There is this thing? What? What is this thing? Yes. No, there is not. That's weird. That's a weird thing. Uh, anyway, let's see if we have uh, recipes. So I can't get a discount. His stuff is here. He's got scrap. That is very expensive. Uh, he's got also pieces of tire. We're going to need this eventually for, for armor. I can confirm that. I don't remember how to make it, but he does not, he does not have recipes. Hmm. Okay. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's fine. He does have money, though, which I will happily take, like this, especially because these guys like me a little bit better. Uh, we got water. We got an empty bottle. We got a rusty knife. I'll do that. And bottle with water. I have five of them, so I can sell that. That's 1.9 kilogram. Well, how big is that water? Is it because it's glass? It must be the... How big is that water? <laughs> it's big water. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I'll just go with that. Unfortunately, we can't really get that much money out of this guy. But I'm making I'm making good progress in regards to the money. When we reach the... Uh, which we are going to reach the, the, the city of uh, Krasnos Dameni pretty soon. So let's do a little bit of filling up over here. One thing I wasn't doing before, uh, and I should have, is... Oh, well, last episode, or a couple of episodes ago was um, having two slots, and I should have, because, duh. And also, this is apparently, yeah, look at that. It's like, it's a lightweight canteen, best canteen. Okay, where's my other gun? There it is. Let's carry around this one. And uh, we're also out of time for the day, so let's just sell our stuff over here and say goodbye for right now. And what I'm going to sell, actually, is simply the water. Just one. Three rules. I think it's the same price. <laughs> it's this, I think it's the same price. So, didn't I? Wait a minute. Oh, right. Okay, good. I was, I was going to say, didn't I fill up anything else? I did. The canteen. And that's the one I'm going to save until the last. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead, leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.